And now, before moving to the to the next model, let's get, uh, let, let us state some kind of a conclusion uh, about what we have so done so far, not only in this model six, but also in the previous model. So at this point, you should be clear to you, okay, that good mesh is equal to good results. It start robustly and end with accuracy. We studied that during this model. That is, you can start your solution using a win, but then you need to end with accuracy. Your final solution has to be at least second order accurate, okay? That is very important. Stability, accuracy, and boundedness play by these terms and you will succeed and we study this in this model very important and this one okay do not sacrifice accuracy and stability over computing speed and this is an error that many new <coughs> beginners in cfd they do that they want fast solutions if you are looking fast solutions you are in the wrong direction okay because if you are getting Fast solution means that you are sacrificing a lot your accuracy and stability. And finally, select wisely your boundary conditions. They are very important. And in particular in open phone, it can be a little bit tricky to choose the right one because you have that plethora of options that can get people confused. So this is a, some kind of a conclusion. And before ending this also, I want to mention that in the cases that you have, we only address four tutorials, Laplace, Shock 2, uh, the Northona Cavity, and Pure Convection. But you have some other cases. So now it's up to you also try to, to, to get your, your way around those cases. And here in the file, read me cases, you have a description what you are expecting. Now, So you see there that you can use Scala Transport phone and what you are doing okay so you just can go there and try to read this this file and see what you you should expect from those cases an interesting one is this one pi 3d this one you can use it as a benchmarking for linear solvers okay we already also study this so you can run that case and try different linear solvers okay so it's up to you to play around with the rest of the cases but basically it's just using all the theory that we address in chapter six okay so thank you see you next time bye